Hi, George here, and the makers of Minitool Movie Maker asked me to show you around this great video editing program. Right now we're in version 7.3. When you first launch this, you'll see this sort of floating window right in here, where you can make a new project, open an existing project, go into Movie Templates, and this brings up a list of templates in here. There are nine templates, as you can see, two for travel, three love templates in here, family and friend templates, and a festival template. These are all quick ways to jumpstart a video project or choose an existing video from your project library. You also can set your aspect ratio, widescreen or portrait, standard or Instagram, which is square. Portrait, of course, would be your YouTube shorts, for instance. We'll stick with widescreen and we'll do a new project. Click on that and there we go. The first thing we need to do, of course, is to bring assets in. And if you notice over here, they're coming into the My Album section which can hold videos, music, and pictures. You don't have to enter just videos or just music or just pictures. You can actually bring a lot of stuff in at the same time. To import your media, come right down here, it says import media. Click on this and then navigate to where your media is stored. I have a folder right here that I set up for this particular video with a few things in it. I have some MP4 video files. These are mostly AI generated files. I have some AI artwork down in here and I have some music tracks down below. What I'll do is click on the first one of these media files, scroll to the bottom, hold my shift key down, click on the last one. That selects everything. Let's now hit the open. It's going to import all of that stuff. This is all coming into this import area. And there we go. It's all been imported. So it's pretty fast. And we see that all right in here. And notice that it came in and divided this up into the correct categories. I had 11 video clips, eight music clips, and six picture clips. We'll start off by bringing something down into here, just take a video, you can click on the plus sign, and then as it into your timeline right down here, left hand side over here in the corner, you can see how long this clip is. This is a one minute clip. Actually up here it's one minute and three frames. Let's add a second one, click on this one right here, hit that plus sign, and here we go. This one's only 10 seconds long, fairly short. Let's just do one more, and we'll click over here. This one's 29 seconds long, so pretty easy to do that. So we have three of those clips on here now. Now look at the bottom of the clip, see this little speaker right here in this line? This is the audio for the clip. Now this clip doesn't have any audio in it. There's no audio here, and there's also no audio over in this one either. We can add in audio as a separate track. Of course, some video will have audio contained in the video. You would then see a waveform down here that matches that audio. Let's just grab something in here. I'm just going to grab one of these things, hit the plus sign, that adds that over here. Notice that this came in at the playhead, which is this line right here. This is your playhead. I can then push this anywhere I want to. It will snap right to the right location. This is going to snap right to the beginning of the first video. This is a 4.5 minute long audio track. Obviously, it's too long for this video, but I can grab the playhead, bring it right down to that location, right at the end of this video clip, and I can then cut this at that point. So you can adjust the length. You also can come in and grab the end here and just drag that in and shorten that clip. Notice we're now at 2.9 minutes. Drag it in some more. It's now down to just two minutes and put it right down there. It's gonna snap right to the end of that clip. So pretty easy to adjust that. Now over here on the right hand side, we have properties. Let's click on our first bit of video up here. We have basic on this. We can flip the image inside here. There we go, just flip that. I kind of like that better. I think I'll do that flipped. You can also flip up to down. There we go. Not so good upside down. Or you can rotate to a specific rotation. You can come in here and adjust the color if you want to. I could make it more saturated. There we go. Pretty saturated. I can make it brighter. Let's put this right back up to about zero again, right here. You also can add in 3D LUT color grading files. There's a lot of these in here. Here's a Harry Potter look. Is a Mad Max Fury Road look. So these come in and give you an overall general look for your image. Go back to none, I'll leave it at the default that we had here. You can adjust the speed if you need to. You can even reverse your video clip right here. And if it has audio, we can adjust the audio right there. Now with the audio, let's come down here to the audio track. And notice we can adjust our audio track here. Let's say I wanted to just fade this out at the end of the track. I'll just go up here to fade out. Choose how long the fade out is. Let's say I'm, I'll have it just a little five or six second fade out. So the auto check will now fade out at the end. If you want to, you can close down or open up this properties section if you need to, a bit more space in here. 
Let's now come back over here to our video section and we have these transitions in between our video clips. I'm just gonna play this through. I'll go up here to the video track, bring this over like that. I could cut this at that point if I wanted to, click on that cut. It just cuts that section out. Now if I don't wanna have it in here, still I can actually hit the trash can over here or right click and delete or even copy if I wanna make duplicates of that section. I'm just gonna use the Control Z keyboard shortcut, which is the undo. So you also can redo and undo your steps with their keyboard shortcuts. Let's see what this looks like just going from this area right here over into here. Hit the play button. Let this play through. There's our animation in the background here. This is just a straight cut like that. She's gonna blink in a second. There she goes, just one little blink in there. Second blink. So these are just straight cuts between video tracks. There's another cut right there. See, so I wanted to do something fancier than that. You wanna have a real fancy transition in here. There are lots of transitions to choose from. Go up here, at the top we have transitions. There are a lot of things. There's a fade to black look. Notice if you hover over the transition, it'll give you a demonstration of what it looks like. Here's that kind of cross zoom. Here's a burst look. They kind of like that one because we're looking at a cartoonish area here. So I'm on this clip right here. Let's put the burst effect, add that. And you can see the sample shape right down there. That's the burst effect. Same thing as the thumbnail over here. You can see it right down here. Let's now see how that transition looks. I'll just back us up a little bit. I'll play through that, the play button. And here comes that transition right about now. There we go. There's that burst effect transition. So real easy to add transitions. You can change it if you want to. Just go over right here to a blind look and do that one instead. Like that. Hit the plus sign. This has now been changed. Let's check that again real fast. So it's that easy to come in and change your transition styles. Real simple to do. And there are a lot of these transitions in here. Notice we have trending at the top. We have light effects, several new light effects in here. There's some wipe effects in here. You can see the preview on that. Notice that some of these have this little down arrow right there. That means that we only have the preview available right now. We need to download the actual effect. Let's hit that download button and it's now downloaded and ready to go. It downloads very, very fast, it's just that quick. We now get the larger preview window when it's been actually downloaded. There we go. Also up here, we have some effects that can be applied. There's a blackout effect. Again, these need to be downloaded. Let's go ahead, we'll download that one. And I get a larger preview window. There's a blackout effect. Different overlay effects in here. Notice that there are a lot of these new effects in here, a little new in the upper left-hand corner. Those, of course, are new for this new version that we're looking at. Let's look at our spring one. I'll download that real fast. There's that spring effect. It's kind of a picture frame, and then the video goes inside of that frame. There's a whole new section of effects, lots of things with hearts in them. Let's check out this heartbeat thing right here. There we go. Very interesting effect. You also can apply filters onto your video. If you want to go over here to filters, lots of stuff, just different filter looks. So are different LUTs. There's a lot of these LUTs as you can see in here. Again, if you see the arrow, that means you need to download that to have it for use, but it downloads in just a moment. You also can place things on top of your video. And we have over here text, different text effects. You can add like captions. Here's a title card, another title card. These are both new. I'll just download that real fast. There's our preview window. We scroll down lots of these different text effects. Let's just do something fancy on this one. Go up here to the top and I'll grab this one. Hit the plus sign, and then brings it into one of your tracks down below. It grabs the first available track. That's our text one. You can move this around if you want to, reposition it someplace else inside of your video. I'll put this back at the beginning. Playhead goes back to that position. And come in here. You can then type in your text right here. Actually select it right here and put in your text. Let's call it daydreaming. Or you can go up here and type in your text over here in the properties section. You also can change your font. This is gonna be fonts that are available on your computer system. So your list will be different from my list. Kind of like that one right there. You can change your size right here. If you have multiple lines, you can change your line spacing there. You can go for bold, you can go for italic if you want to. And you can change your justification left, center, right. This is more important if you have multiple lines. And your text color is here and also a highlight color. So this is a white color. Click on this, let's choose a different color. It's kind of a nice, light blue in here. I'm gonna do a highlight color just to show you the difference. And there's a highlight in behind the text. 
or back to none, which is the bottom right-hand corner. You also can make your text transparent. If I had the text on the image, I could then see through the text by changing the opacity. You can reset this to the defaults by clicking on Reset. So this is sitting now on top of the video. I also can take this and move things around. So I can move my box down to here. It's bringing the text, bring the text down here, or just the text position. So it's very customizable. Hit the play button, a bit of animation comes in there, and then it goes back out again. It's a real nice animated text. And we also have elements. Click on our element setting right here. And there are lots of elements that you can add in. Again, a lot of new stuff in your explosions, festival, nature, and travel. These are all new sections. And there's some standard things like subscribe buttons right down here. These are kind of the standard YouTube subscribe buttons. Here's our little preview on that subscribe button. Here's an explosion look. Let's see what else we have down here. We'll just scroll down. A lot of these different smoke effects, these are new. Let's just add this one just to see how this runs again. Hit the download button. It's now downloaded. Hit the plus sign. There's a the smoke effect. This can be resized if you want to. I'll put it right there. You can resize it if you want to. And it's animated, so hit the play button. And it's now animated right on top of our video. Notice that this is on the same line as the text. So they're kind of back to back here. If I push it over here, it will automatically adjust things to fit properly. I can change the length of how long these run by just stretching it out like that. I can even overlap these, put it onto a second line up here, and they're now overlapping. Let's just put this over here. I'm going to put the text on top, put the smoke overlapping underneath. There we go. We'll snap into position, and let's play this and see what happens. There's our smoke coming in in behind that text. And there's still more tricks you can do here with the Mini Tool Movie Maker. Go up here to Audio, and you find that there are a lot of audio tracks that are supplied with the program. Trending, these are new things up here. We have classic, happy, hip-hop, love, travel, vlog, and 25 different sound effects. Trending, ambience, fight, and horror. Let's just sample one of those and add that in. And so that comes in down here on the audio line. That's this bottom line. I was a control Z just to back out of that one, the undo button. I also have the undo right here, left for undo and right for redo. There are also these motion effects, actually adding motion into your video. Zoom to center, pan down, zoom out from center. Let's choose our short clip right here. The different motions match the length of your clip. So you want a fast motion, you need a shorter clip. You want a slower motion, go for a longer clip. So we'll do this on this short clip right here. I'm going to take this through. Let's just find where she first blinks. There's her first blink is right there. I'm going to cut this at that point. So real short little clip right here. Let's do a zoom to center. Add this on. You see a little motion icon right there. We now see zoom in center is added up here into our video property. Let's now see how that looks. Hit the play button. And it zooms in to the center. When you're finished with your editing, you'll of course want to save this out. So let's go up here to export. And we can now export this out. PC or device. You can choose your name, give it a name right here. You can choose your location, just click on this and navigate to a location. I'll leave it at the defaults. Choose your format in here. A lot of formats. MP4 is the most common one for video. Choose your resolution. This is your standard 1080p resolution right there. Choose your frame rate. And you can trim your audio to the video length. It automatically clips that the length of the video. This is 1 minute and 39 seconds. And the file size is 99 megs. So it's pretty good size. I'm using the free version right now for this video. And with the free version, you can do three videos without any length limit. After that, the program is limited to two minutes in length unless you upgrade. We'll take a look at that in just a second. But if you're doing YouTube Shorts, for instance, or if you're doing Reels over on Instagram, two minutes is more than you need. So you can actually use this as a finished editor if you're working on shorter projects. Not a problem at all. Click on Settings. You choose the quality setting in here, best, better, or good. Change your video encoder if you want to, your resolution, bit rate. I'll leave all of mine at the defaults. Then choose export. And we'll then export this out as a finished video. Now, whenever you export video, it's not real fast, but this exports reasonably quickly. And I'll just skip right to the end. Movie is done. Find target. And there is a finished movie. I'll just get that out of the way. And if you like this program for editing, if this is what you need, and you want to be able to make longer videos, then go up here, hit this key icon right here, brings up this window here, and you can then either enter your license key if you've already made your purchase or you can purchase right down here. Here's a monthly subscription at $12.99. Cancel anytime. So if you only need it for a short time, just buy it for one month and use it for that month and then you're done. Or there's the annual subscription at $35.99 for 12 months. Obviously, this is cheaper than this. If you use for three months, this ends up being cheaper. Or the ultimate plan, $59.99, and this is a lifetime, perpetual license. Never pay for it again. And again, if you've made a purchase, just put your license right up here where it says license key. 
So there you go. That's a nice look around here at the Mini Tool Movie Maker program. This is the free version. Again, you can do a lot with the free version. Everything is available here. It's available in the paid versions. The main difference is that paid versions, you can record videos of any length that you want. In the free version, you're limited to two minutes or less. But again, that's perfect for YouTube Shorts and for things like Instagram Reels. If you like this video, hit that like button. Make sure you click on subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you next time.